How long has Batman been a part of your life? Is it before the show? Have you grown up with Batman as well? I grew up with the um, Adam West Batman, like a lot of people did. And I was completely unaware of the the sort of Dark Knight legacy, you know, the, the, the more noir, serious, dark story. I, I, the Adam West show was wonderful in the 60s, but it was a, an aberration from that. It was a very campy, kind of light, kind of kid show, you know. Um, when I went into audition for the role, I said to Bruce Timm and uh, Alan Burnett, who were creating it, I said, oh, this is like the, the, the Batman show pop bam, bow, and they said, no, 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 that's not the direction we're going, no, this is, he lost his parents as a child, tragically, he's been avenging their deaths all his life, he, he lives in the shadows, he's misunderstood, I said, well, you're s describing Hamlet, and they said, well, no one's really approached it from that point of view before, but because I was from Juilliard and the theater, and I'd done a lot of Shakespeare, I just approached it from a, a more classical kind of theater background, um, and and interestingly, it was perfect for that role. Batman is the classic, for, for pop culture, he is the classic hero. He is the misunderstood Dark Knight. He is the classic legendary hero, that arc of the hero that Joseph Campbell talks about, you know, in The Power of Myth. He's our generation's version of that. Because people always ask me, why does he echo so much? Why does he resonate so much? Why has he lasted so long? I'm like, he's our time's um, mythology. He's our way of teaching good and evil. He's, he's good. He is pure good. He never kills anybody. He puts them in Arkham, you know what I mean? He's the ultimate angel of goodness, and he has to do it from the dark, from secrecy, from a cave. Um, everything about his personality I think people just relate to. Um, because we all have a public face and a private face. We all do. We all present a different persona to the world than we are personally. I think we spend our lives reconciling those two faces. Well, he's the personification of that. He literally is two personas, you know? He's, he puts on this suit where he's Bruce Wayne and he's very sophisticated and he's very charming with the ladies and all that. And then he goes and he becomes Batman, you know, when he's, when he's himself, when he's, when he's in his own pain, when he's experiencing the loss of his parents and avenging their loss and getting Joker, you know. So he, to me, he, the reason he resonates with so many, not just young people, but older people, a lot of my audience is, is adult, most of the audience is adult, is because he's like the archetypical hero of our time. Uh, say you were Batman in real life, and one supervillain or Batman villain came to life. Who would you want it to be, and who would you want to fight? Well, the, the, the villain I have the special relationship with is the Joker. It's almost as if Joker defines Batman, and Batman defines Joker. It's like neither of them would be quite as cool without the other, you know what I mean? Joker is so... Someone asked me recently on Twitter, um, uh, real Kevin Conroy on Twitter, um, <laughs> um, who was, who was, uh, what, what was the difference between the Riddler and Joker? And I said, well, the Riddler is, is crazy evil, and Joker is crazy, crazy. <laughs> He's just like out there. And Mark Hamill was so wonderful at doing that. You know, he had such glee. He said, oh, Batman, I'm going to get you. You know, and it's that crazy, you know, <laughs> he'd go into that wild laugh. Um, I had so much fun working with Mark. Um, so, uh, so I have a special relationship with the Joker. The question is, so people are always fighting against, oh, you know, Batman's better. Oh, no, Superman's better. What do you tell people when... You know, you're like, hey, you know, Batman is the best. What would you say to those people? Do you have to ask that question? <laughs> I know. It's, it's a hard one. <laughs> it's a hard one? Well, Batman or Superman? I, personally, I'm a Batman fan. Well, please. I hope so, so. Yeah, I, I am. Batman but, is the coolest guy. But how do you, convi how do you convince uh, the people who are on the Superman well, side? What's so cool about Batman is he has no superpowers. He's the original MacGyver. He's got to create everything he does. So he has only himself and his wits. And he's motivated 
what is Superman motivated by? I mean, he comes from Krypton. He's he landed here by mistake. He's got these weird powers. He's sort of accidentally doing good. You know what I mean? But Batman's doing it by choice, by by need to reconcile this wound that he sees. Not just he feels the wound in himself from his childhood loss, but he sees the wound in our world. He is aching for our world. He can't. He can't, he's the kind of guy that if he sees litter on the street, he picks it up. He can't, he can't walk by anything that's wrong and not fix it. And he does that with the people in his life and the city he lives in, Gotham, which he loves. Um, so everything about Batman is, is so relatable to by people because he's just a guy and he does it by choice. Superman's kind of an accidental hero, you know, he, yeah. he fell from the sky. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, how has it been different doing voice acting for video games versus the animated series? You have all the real where you're just in a booth getting hit and falling over and over. People don't realize how different it is because you're doing the same character and you're doing the same voice. They figure, well, you're just doing the same thing. The process is totally different. It couldn't be more different. It's like a different kind of acting. In, in, in doing the episodes and in movies and stuff, um, we always come together as a group and they do them as radio plays. Warner Brothers insists on that, which is, which is why you get those great performances uh, from so many actors, because we're feeding each other. And you know what it's like on stage. You, you, it's like throwing a ball. You, you, you throw the energy to the other person, they throw it back to you. You're, you're only as good as the people around you. You're, you, you, know, you feed each other and you keep the life going. That's what we do in the recordings for the animated show and the animated movies. The games, because of the technology of gaming, they need each take totally separate, depending on how they want to edit it. So you are alone in a booth for four hours at a time, line after line after line after line, totally in a vacuum, totally arbitrarily. You don't even know how the story is going to play out often. Just they'll give you a description of what's going on, and you've got to keep the actor alive, keep the uh, character alive, uh, keep the voice fresh, keep it real, true to Batman, because the audience will hear in a second if you lose the voice, and yet keep keep going for four hours alone with no one feeding you energy. Um, it's very challenging, and then you get an hour off for lunch, and then it's another four hours in the afternoon. And you do that day after day after day after day after day. I've been working on Arkham Knight for a year and a half, and it's still not done, which is why they've delayed the release, because it's massive. It's a great game. It's, it's going to blow people's minds. It's, it's, I'm excited doing it. I, each time they show me something new, I think, are you crazy? I can't believe we're doing this. It's really cool. It's really cool. But it, it's a good question. It, it couldn't be more different. It's, it's, in a way, it's not why you become an actor, you know what I mean? It's a very technical kind of job, but the result is so rewarding, it's so much fun, um, that it makes it worthwhile. Well, it seems that we're about out of time. Do you mind giving us your favorite Batman line that you just real quick? Everybody knows what the favorite Batman line is. That's what you're saying. I am, <clears throat> it's a little early. <laughs> <laughs> this is Batman in the morning. <laughs> I am vengeance, I am the knight, I am Batman!